Yeah. All right. So, 21. I'm short. Ahayom yom. This Hayom yom announces the, uh, the uh, effort of starting with the Fidika Rebbe of, and continuing with the Rebbe of really bringing the place of the woman into prominence in Yiddishkeit, which began in the, with the Fidika Rebbe in, in, uh, in, the, in the middle of the uh, 1930s. It's the duty of Hasidic women and girls to stand in the front lines of every activity that seeks to strengthen the observance of Yiddishkeit in general, and particularly with regard to Tahara Samizbacha. They should organize a society for the, for the daughters of the Hasidic Brotherhood. It's called Hevres Benois Hasidim. That's what he calls it. That's how it's read in Hebrew. And the aim of that group is to buttress all aspects of the Hasidic lifestyle with regard to guidance and education in the age-old tradition of Hasidic households. And, uh, you know, this sounds like, oh, wait a minute. Is this the woman's role? But Basis Royal is not just the home, this the, the nuclear home. Of course, it is the nuclear home. But the nuclear home is the place, uh, it's called nuclear for a reason. It's meant to explode out to the society in general. And uh, the women are the forefront of that. And the women are also segueing into today's Tanya. Uh, women are called the crown, right? Ashes Chayel Ateres Baila. The crown is the world of the hiddenness, the hidden world, Alma Discasio. And uh, as the uh, Sefi Yitzhira says, that the hidden, the more hidden the world, the lower it can come and lodge. So the deepest of the deep, which is associated with what's called in uh, Aramaic Alma Discasio, is the province of the crown. And those are the hidden dimensions. These are the makif dimensions of the crown. And each woman has a particular association with that. And as a result of that, all you women on the call should be able to give us few men on the call advices, advice and counsel about how to do what we're going to talk about in today's Tanya. So today's Tanya is on page Lamed Gimel in the classic edition. And uh, Rivka, you can come off mute. I just don't remember where, what page is it in Lessons in Tanya. Page 346. Okay, thank you. Okay, now just to recap, we remembered there are two things, two important uh, levers, so to speak, that the Alter Rebbe has advised us to tap uh, in terms of ta in terms of arousing the Ava Terrace. One is awareness, and that's you know if you don't know you have it, you can't use it. And then the next step is once you do know you have it, learn how to use it. Awareness, awareness of one's true teva, and we milked the word Eva, Tuba Uva Yomsuf, as the chariots of Pharaoh are sunken in the dust, in the dirt. So the Nefesh is sunken deep inside of us. And in that respect, it's from the world of Alma Discasia. It's from the hidden world. Uh, it, uh, it needs to be revealed. And the other is that besides awareness, the second tool is joy. That's where we left with uh, in our portion on Shabbos, Yivdu es Hashem besimcha, to the extent that uh, the Pesach says that we were exiled from our land because we didn't serve Hashem from the great goodness that we had. And the Rizal Darsons that we didn't serve Hashem mikoil, more than everything we had. In other words, more than the, uh, than the revealed parts are the deeper parts. They're deeper, they're more close to Hashem, but they're buried. But knowing that they're there and knowing that we can tap them is the subject, in particular the latter, tapping them is the subject of uh, today's time. The advice which the Alter Rebbe is giving, the Tar Liboy, to purify one's heart, we call Etzev, from any kind of sadness. Remember, sadness is the mind killer. Sadness, sadness is the there's coldness, and coldness creates the opposite of what we need to do. We need to create an engine of, of heat and fire in order to bring our fire, the fire of the animal and the fire of the godly together. So we need some advice. What's the advice? 
to be rid of any trace, any niduf, that's the word of daiga, of worry, memele de alma, from things of the world, of this world. And even the things that most of us worry the most about, children, uh, health, and livelihood. So to be rid of those, this is known the coil to everybody. The Maimer of Chazal, what our sages said, they said it in the Gemara Bruchas, the Kashem Shemavodach Avateva, just as one blesses on the good, and I'll put in the revealed good, because that's what he means, so one should bless on the things which don't appear to be good. Now, how can you bless on something that doesn't appear to be very good? So, Purish Bigamora, the Gemara explains the Kabule Besimcha, that one needs to receive, take upon oneself, accept with joy those things which don't appear good, just like the joy that you have when you take, when you see, when something is revealed. Because even this is good. Now, hidden in this world, good is also sometimes means secondarily, but gam also means that there's something special here that needs to be paid attention to. And what needs to be paid attention to is, this, is the, thing, uh, the, uh, the ideas that uh, I spoke about in the preface, and particularly the Surah Hashem Basimpla Miroiv Koil, that there's a greater goodness hidden than there is in what's revealed. It's just that that goodness and that, that, that kindness is not revealed. It's not, we don't see it with our physical our fleshly eyes because it comes from the hidden worlds which are higher than and you know I always translate higher I mean to mean deeper than vested deeper in the consciousness of Hashem than the revealed so there's a depth now we've spoken about this I mean and we will speak about this over and over we spoke about it last uh, on Shabbos particularly in the context of Parshas Yisrael. Yisrael added a Parsha to the Torah. What's the Parsha that he was, Yisrael, that he added? And I pointed out at the top of the page, if you're looking in the, in the, in the, in the classical Tanya, there's a, the expression, and if you're not, I'll just say it, there's a Yisrael Ha'or Min There's an advantage of light which comes from darkness. And Yisrael and Yisrael are the same thing. So, you know, in simple terms, Yisra, what, what did Yisra actually add? He added the advice that he gave to Moshe Rabbeinu about how to conduct himself in a manner so that the future would be maintained in the Torah after Moshe's demise. In other words, he set the stage for the oral Torah. And the oral Torah, in, a, in, a, in the one respect, is lower than the written Torah. But at the same time, since it emerges through the process of human in intellect grappling with it and digging with it, like digging down deep, so it reveals a light that's even higher than the, the written Torah. And this is the, the cloud, the general principle, that there's an or mina there's a light within the darkness, and the light within the darkness, like our black holes in today's uh, understanding of, of the universe, contains an intensity of light which is much greater than the revealed light. So this is the light which is up above, deeper, which comes from Alma, well, deeper than Alma Discalia, than the revealed worlds. And that's what he just says. Gehu Alma Discalia is from the hidden worlds, Shalamayla Alma Discalia, which are higher than the revealed worlds. Jehu Avovke Meshem which the revealed worlds are expressed in the latter two letters of the Shem Abaya. Navov meaning coming down. And yeah, and but the uh, the hidden worlds are in the first two letters, the yud ke. So the 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 skali is the vav in the cave from the shem avaya, and the alma diskasia and the hidden world is the yud ke. Vazasha kosev, and this is what's written in Tilim. Ashrei hagever ajiti asrenu yud ke. Happy is the man who was afflicted. It's translated by God. But particularly what he's pointing out here, the way it's, if you look in your tilim, it's the first two letters of God, which is Alma Discasia, the deeper hidden worlds. 
And therefore, our sages have said, those who are happy in their difficulties, on there, there is written about them in Shoftim, it writes, that these are those who are happy, who love Hashem, as, this, as it, it will be when the sun is taken out of its sheath. In other words, piercing the darkness, piercing the clippers, piercing the coverings, piercing the world of separation and seeing the all-inclusiveness integration and singularity from which everybody come, which everything comes, piercing that because that's what's resident in the darkness is that higher, deeper light. That, those are the ones who are really happy. They love Hashem from a perspective of similar to when the sun is taken out of its strength, its power. Because the simcha comes from love, love of Hashem, which is kiras Hashem, which is coming close to Hashem. Now here, what he means is getting closer to, I mean, getting into the, the closer parts to Hashem. The parts are not close to Hashem, but the parts which are closer to God's essence. Kirvas Hashem, Yesemikol, and here he harks back to the expression of the Rizal. We were exiled from the land because we didn't from the greatness which is from deeper than what's revealed on the surface. That's the Pirush of the Rizal. And of course, you have Yisroi thrown in here. Uh, this is all just illusion. I'm just saying this. This is, you know, just uh, in the words, but not expressed explicitly by the, the Balatanya. So, but what was expressively expressed by the Balatanya is the key, the love, the love which is mehavosa. It's a kind of love which comes comes from kivos Hashem, from the inner dimensions, the closeness of Hashem. more than what's revealed on the surface of the uh, daily affairs of this world. The Gesev is written: Greater is your kindness than life. So this is the kindness that we, the kindness which is behelam in, 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 from Olma discuss Alma discuss here. The Chir Hashem who beyeses aes umayla in kates but only discuss here. And that's what he says. The closeness to Hashem is much stronger and much deeper, higher, much deeper, without any and any limits in the hidden worlds. So Alma discuss here. Kishom. Chevion Uze, because there is the lodging of his strength. And this is also a Pasuk. He sits in the concealed world. So piercing the darkness is the source of tremendous joy. And that's why he's, this is our topic here. How to, one advice, one of many advices as to how to uh, uh, activate that uh, that that capability, which we said earlier, the two capabilities of awareness of this and joy of this, how to activate the joy of serving Hashem, particularly when the joy uh, is is covered and coming from no, be aware that it's coming from the deeper levels. Hisham Hisham Uze, there is the strength of the, the lodging of his strength, the Yeshi Beselcha, and that's where he sits. Beselcher Elyon, the Alkain, and therefore. A person who can habituate oneself to see through the darkness, the power, the light of the, the hidden light, which is in the darkness, it's equivalent to or similar to, metaphorically, to the state that will be in the future when the sun will be taken out of its gavura, of its, of its power, of its strength, in the future, in the future to come. And what is that? When the sun is taken out of its sheath, the sun we've learned, you know, the sun is darkened, darkened through the mere fact that here the light of the sun is the Orain Sof. The Orain Sof is darkened through the Simpson, through many, many, many Simpsons. So we all know this, right? Because well, we've learned Tanya, that the reality that is in front of our face is a version of reality which is. Uh, brought into reality from Hashem's concealing himself. So if one can just at least mentally 
uh, mindfully uh, live in a state or at least occasionally be in a state where one can see reality that way, that it really is a covering, that's a model for what the future will bring when the sun is removed from its covering and its, and its gavura. Gavura means power, but it means here the way, you know, the, 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 the meat of gavura, which is to, to conceal, to hide things, to cover. That's when the sun will be taken out of its shield. Which the godliness is now the sun, the orange soap, that light of that sun. Metaphorically, the orange soap is hidden now in this world. In the future, it will be revealed from its concealment. Because in the future, Alma Discasia, Alma Discasia, the hidden world will be revealed. And what the Alter Rabbi is saying here, in terms of our own workings with ourselves, the future is now. The future can be now. We can see and train ourselves to see not only the godliness in the pleasant things in this world, but the deeper level of godliness, the Yisran or the advantage, the Yeser, the more power of the Or, Minachoshe, which comes from the darkness. In the future, this will be shining and in, in, in the complete revelation. Rav strong and big and strong. to all of those chosim boy who take refuge refuge in Hashem and His Torah be'olam hazeh in this world. Umistayfefim ketzalei and who seek seek shelter ketzalei in His shade. Right, nasa adam betzalneinu. We were created in his shade. We were, yet shade is a darkness, but it's a darkness that only exists because of the position of the sun. There's no shade without sun. So shade should reflex to us sunlight, deep sunlight. Any darkness should reflex to us deep light, deeper than we can see. And if we can imbue that in our consciousness and our habits of thinking, this, the al says, is an etza, is an advice to be besimcha bechol yoyim, to be besimcha all the time, because one sees through the shadow, which is the tzel hochma, the shadow of wisdom, wisdom, the, 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 the first uh, sphere, which brings the orin sof into our consciousness. Jehovah in a tzel, which that bring is a, is a darkness, right? In order for us to be conscious, we, Hashem has to hide his very self which is very self, if exposed, would destroy us. But his very self is what's enlivening us. And his very self is what's enlivening everything, albeit these everythings appear to be things on their own. And particularly his deepest, deepest self is what's enlivening what appears to be darkness, Alma Discasia, the shade, the shadow, which appears as a darkness, and doesn't appear at light, and it doesn't appear as revealed goodness, but it's the deeper goodness. The dilemma, and it should be easy for someone to understand. I think it's easy to understand. It's not so easy to live, but uh, the brain can bring different feelings to the heart if one practices. So that's uh, today's Tanya. Yeah. Any comments? Somebody has a hand up. I just can't see. Go. Oh, Yehuda Sana. Yeah, hi, thanks. Hi. So mind. at the same time, we are enjoined to exercise um, full trust that Hashem will give us good in the way that we can recognize as good. So how do how do we how do we reckon those two things? How do we both accept that? this is our, you know, this is our fate and that it's a higher level and that we should rejoice over this closeness to Hashem. And at the same time, we, we, we apparently we have this agency where through, through tefillah and through betachon where we can actually change our material situation. So that, so that, are you so, at, that it comes are you down, so that, so that we recognize it as good, not just that Hashem's giving us good, and we 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 have to have the faith and understanding that He knows best. But we're also 
told that we can actually ask for for revealed good. Yes. Well, what, <laughs> I, I'm not sure of the. Are you asking if it's so good? Why doesn't revealed as good? No, I'm no. asking how do you how do you um, jibe these two these two things? Like you, on the one hand, you were told to accept not worry and not be anxious and not be sad over this because in fact it's a higher level of good but at the same time we're also encouraged to exercise betachon true betachon and by doing so we can change the way Hashem sends down his good so that it actually right. feels good so the question so, has to do with the con, con, is it a contradiction if we're supposed exactly. to accept everything as good whether it looks good or it doesn't look good so why why do we dive into Hashem to to change anything is is that is there well, any eff yeah. efficacy in davening absolutely well the, the reason the reason being of this tremendous efficacy in, in davening and this tremendous efficacy in doing the avoid of, of first of all I'll put it out there I would guess challenge you and myself have you not seen through living and having difficulties, the power that comes from overcoming them? Yes or no? You mean from, from, from living, from, from, from working, living, working on, work, yeah, definitely, yeah, okay, so, definitely, definitely. So fine, so we've seen that light. We've seen the power of light which comes from darkness. And why do we pray that we don't have to go through the darkness? Et cetera, et cetera. Because we're praying for what, what we just spoke about here in the Tanya on this page, the future state. The future state will alma disgassi when the hidden worlds will be revealed. That's the ultimate. That's the that's through Mashiach and up to an in, inclusive of resurrection. When the light that's uh, that's hidden now will be totally revealed. We pray for that because that's what we're longing for. We're longing for the, the simple revelation of the depth of Hashem, which is now concealed. Ah, it's concealed. That should give me some energy now. And I know that it does because I've been through experiences. I'm, I'm talking about we've been through experiences where we know the power of that. So let's get in the habit since we've had that experience. Ah, another darkness, another hidden light. I know that. That's the kind of meditative practice, thoughtful, thoughtfulness, mindfulness that one should have. But at the same time, it's like the Rebbe was quoted once famously as saying, I am always frustrated and I'm always happy. Yes, a paradox, two things which go together. We're frustrated because the future in a global scale is not now. The revelation of Alma Disgazia is not here, but we pray for it. Meanwhile, we know that Alma Disgazia is here, so let's live as if it's revealed. Does that answer your question? Partly. <laughs> partly everybody what is this partly i don't know about partly it's either yes or no it partly means no no it so doesn't it, it answers it partly but it, but there's a part that that you didn't address and that is that at the same time hashem doesn't want us to suffer and he wants to give us reveal good now so that if we're suffering through um, you know, through yeah. any of these inyanim of health, livelihood, or children, he he wants us to pray and to connect to him in a way that shows that we trust that he can change the situation right now. Sure, they can reveal on the discussion right now, and we pray for that. We pray it on a global scale and on this on this on the detail scale. Show us your kindness. Show us your hidden goodness. Your hidden kindness. We ask for But it. we know it's there. We have to Number know one. it's there. And we also... We right. Yeah, yeah. We have to know it's there and, and, know, and live with the knowledge that it's there and the betachin that it can be revealed. And that's what we're praying for. So we're basically saying, I know, we, I know this is good. Hashem, whatever I'm going through is really good. And it's the highest good. At the same time, it doesn't feel good. So please... Make it come down in a way so that so that I can identify it as as good, which would mean essentially that he would take that test away. Yes, exactly. Right. So, so, while, right. so while we're being tested 
to know that it is actually a really high, it's the highest level of good. And at the same time, we're only human beings and you know, we would like to live without that, that suffering in this world. So at the same time, we can ask for it. So I guess it's, it's tricky because you want, you want to know that what you're getting is the highest level good. So when you ask for him to take a test away from you, you're losing that opportunity to connect <laughs> to on that highest level. <laughs> well, you're losing well, the opportunity. About... Wait a minute. You're losing the opportunity to do the work to know that it's the highest good because it's not given right. to you on a silver platter. Right. And so that's how... what we want. So my suggestion <laughs> yeah. would be then, how about asking Hashem to give you the power to use the opportunity to bring the revealed gold? Good. That's a great, that's a great. Beautiful. Write that down. Yeah, write that down. (laughs) But you know, know, it says the end of it is Daila Havim. It doesn't say it's easy. It says it's sufficient for understanding. It's It's enough enough to understand. But you you wanted to translate it's easy. See, it's easy. It's not easy. It's a paradox. It's living with a paradox. And that's, I think, what Tanya helps us do. Yeah. Rivka, can you please? Put what you just said in the in the um group on the, the chat. chat. <laughs> I, can, I can try. I don't know if I'll remember. Well, we're gonna, I'm gonna cl- I'm gonna close the meeting now, so you'll have time not to forget okay. it. We won't have to chat then. I'll, no, the, the I'll send it to you directly. I'll, the I'll what, send no, you a no, no, put it in in the in put the it in our time. group chat on the WhatsApp. Oh, yeah. All right. I will thank try. You. Thank, thank you. Bye-bye. Okay. Thank you. Bye. Bye.